We've talked about sampling distributions, concluding that a sample statistic is itself a random variable, and the realizations of that random variable depend on the sample that we choose. And as a result, we talked about estimation with confidence intervals. Because of the uncertainty in using a sample statistic to estimate a population parameter, we said that the point estimate wasn't sufficient. We extend these ideas to further answer questions about population parameters. For example, we might want to know if the mean time to failure for a particular electrical circuit is greater than 17 months. Naively, we might collect a sample of circuits, measure the time it takes for each to fail, calculate a sample mean, and compare that point estimate to the 17 months. But we know better than that. We know that a point estimate is an uncertain value. We know that we should account for variability, as a more highly variable sample might also tell us that the distribution of that sample mean might also be more highly variable. We know that we should account for sample size, as a larger sample size gives us more faith in making statements about the population. And we know that we should account for some measure of confidence in concluding if the mean is indeed greater than 17 months. Much like a confidence interval, if we're drawing a conclusion about a population parameter, we should account for variability, sample size, and confidence. Broadly, when we draw a conclusion about a population parameter, say determining if the mean time to failure is greater than 17 months, we do so with a hypothesis test. We're going to discuss inferential statistics with hypothesis testing in this unit.